Good morning, YouTube. Pipe Boy here, coming to you from the back deck of my house. And I'm enjoying one of my all time favorite things to do on a summer morning, which is a fine cigar and a cup of strong coffee. It's a Caribbean thing. It is day three of Cigar Week 4. And this week I'm sampling the cigars of Gurkha. The first day was the Gurkha Evil. Uh, yesterday was the Gurkha Shaggy Toro with a sun-grown wrapper. And today... For your consideration, I am smoking a very, very nice cigar. The Gurkha Assassin. And let me tell you, this is a very good smoke. It's reminiscent of the Gurkha Evil, which I described as being almost like a chocolatey, like a mild chocolate or a dark roasted coffee. But the Assassin has a softer hint of it. Still very flavorful, though. From, from first light up, this is an excellent stick. And as you can see, it's a nice, dark, oily wrapper. It smells great. If, if I put the cigar here and, and, you know, smoke just, you know, wafts in front of me, great note. Great room note, even though I'm outside. It, it's a very relaxing kind of earthiness about it that uh, is in derogation to its name, you know, Assassin. So, I mean, st I'm still trying to figure out why Gurkha names its sticks after such, you know, <laughs> bold names like Evil, you know, Ninja, Assassin, you know. makes no difference. These so far are great cigars and these are all the first times I'm, I'm trying Gurkha so uh, the experience is new to me and I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that you find my consideration of it helpful. To me Gurkhas have a reputation based upon what I've heard and been told by others who've smoked them as being very finely made cigars and uh, I can tell you so far that uh, those recommendations have held true. This is a good, dare I say like, like a medium bodied cigar, but it doesn't it doesn't punch you in the face, it, it's just, it presents itself very pleasantly. Because it, uh, the... I'm trying to, I, I find myself comparing it to, to the evil because I find it's 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 very much alike to the evil, but whereas the evil is blended in such a way where it's you know dark roast and chocolate melded in such a way, the assassin does pretty much the, the same thing but on a softer level, without losing any flavor. Uh, this is a fine, fine cigar. I'll, I'll be getting another one of these, as, as well as the Evil, also.
very nice. Goes great with with a cup of coffee. Um, not quite as dark and earthy as the evil or the shag toro which I had yesterday which is an okay smoke um, from what I understand it's a it's it's one of the best selling c cigars that Gurkha makes the shaggy toro uh, the evil also is though and uh, I've heard good things about the, the assassin and justifiably so. It's a very, very well blended stick. Mm. It, it's it's not sweet, but there's a tinge, just just a, a slight little hint of sweetness, and that's on the back end. As 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 an afternote. Yeah, this is a do again. Definitely, this is definitely worth the price. Um, I would definitely recommend the Gurkha Assassin. for a mile plus to a medium strength cigar with soft earthiness and a gentle blend of that dark roasted flavor, hint of chocolate, cocoa bean, um, just a, a relaxing cigar kind of, you know, sent to your thoughts. It's non-confrontational. Not spicy at all, but still very, very flavorful. So that about does it for day three. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my coffee and my assassin as I assassinate my coffee. Well, until next time, this is Oh, hold, hold on. I have one other thing, Mr. Joshua Smart, the representative from Gurkha, who, who supplied me with uh, this week's cigars for my uh, Cigar Week 4 on Gurkha. Uh, it's very kind of him. Thank you so much for uh, sharing that with me, Mr. Smart. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying it. So now, until next time, this is Pipe Lawyer saying cheers, and as always, I'll present the evidence, but you be the judge. Take care, and God bless, and have a great day. Bye-bye.